I've laid down the six 45 foot radial wires that go west from the 4BTV and I've got two of the solder lugs attached here and I wanted to show you the hardware involved in uh, making the attachment to the DX engineering radial plate. The instructions that came with the radial plate show the solder lugs being connected underneath this nut right here. And I didn't want to do it that way because I want this radial plate down all the way on top of, it's just about sitting on top of my concrete base. So I wouldn't have access to the uh, bolt head. So I went ahead and screwed down this nut, tightened them all up, uh, all 16 of them all the way around. And what I'm going to do is put the solder lug over the top. I had to buy a little bit of extra hardware, not too much, just a few bucks. And uh, I'm going to attach them a little bit differently because I wanted to have ac easy access to uh, uh, taking them off, especially uh, if and when I wanted to, to replace them if I run over them with the lawnmower or whatever. But it's very simple to uh, attach them. Star washer first, then the solder lug. Just pull it right over. Flat washer, split washer, and a nut. And uh, excuse my hand, it's in your view a little bit. I'm just going to tighten it down, keep that solder lug pointed the way, way it's supposed to go. All right, there you go. That's how you attach those. Now let's take a look at one of the um, one of these ground radials is not yet pinned to the ground, and it takes a little bit extra work to do this one, but just a teeny bit, and I'll show you how I did it. Here's a shot of the entire base, and I have connected um, six of the ground radials, and I do have them laid out on the ground here across the backyard. You probably can't really even see them at all uh, because, I mean, the, the grass is already pretty much absorbing them. As the grass grows back in the next few weeks, it'll just pull the ground radials right down into the roots, and uh, they'll be gone. So we will not be seeing them again. This one, the furthest one to the right here, uh, is not connected to the ground yet as far as uh, being pinned down. So I wanted to show you this particular one. It comes out away from the radial plate and there's a fence here. So it's the radial, pla or the radial wire is longer than this spot where it uh, converges with the fence. So what I'm going to do is put a pin right out in the middle, um, right out here, and then we're going to run along the fence line uh, about another 15 feet probably. Alright, well I've found a spot where I want the radial wire to make its turn and follow the fence line. So this is the spot right here and it's as simple as this. I'm going to push this pin in, stretch the wire out just a little, push it down into the dirt, and the wire will make its turn and follow the fence line. As soon as this grass grows back up, it'll swallow that wire. No problem. Just like that. Okay, I've moved out to the end of this radial wire, and all I've done here is just made one turn of the wire around the top of the sod pin. I'm going to find a nice soft spot in the soil, keep the wire taut, push it right down in there. All right, that wire will never be seen again.